Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Roman numerals. In this tutorial we will learn how to read and write Roman numerals up to 10,000. So let's begin with our first example. Suppose we've got this number here. 3,427. 3,427. Now, how would we write that in Roman numerals? Well, let's begin, as we always do, on the left-hand side. We've got 3. So we've got 3,000. How do we write 3,000? We write down M. That's 1,000. That's another 1,000. And that is 3,000. So that is 3,000. Then we write down the 4. 4 is 400. How do we write 400? We write down 100 before 500. I'm just going to jot these down in a different color so that we know what we're doing. That is the 3,000. The CD is 400. Okay, what do we have next? We've got 20. 20. How do we write 20? X, X. So that's 20. And lastly, we've got the 7. How do we write 7? V is 5, 6, 7. So 3,427 in Roman numerals is M, 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 C, D, X, X, V, I, I. And that's it. It really is that simple. Let's look at another example. Suppose this time we've got 6,781. 6,781. So how would we write that in Roman numerals? Well, again, first we start with the 6. That's 6,000. How do we write 6,000? It's a capital V with a dash on top. That is 5,000. And the M makes it 6,000. So that is 6,000. Next we have is 700. How do we write 700? The D is 500, the C is 100. So we've got 500, 600, 700. Next we've got is 8 for 80. How do we write 80? We write down L, that is 50, 60, 70, 80. The three X's represent 30. X is 10. So therefore... And lastly, we've got is 1. How do we write 1? That is just simply an I. So that is how we write down 6,781 in Roman numerals. Now suppose we change it around. We're now going to write Roman numerals and see if we can work out what number they represent. So I'm going to write the Roman numeral first. There it is. It looks like a very long number, doesn't it? Okay, let's start working through this. Okay. So let's start on the left-hand side. We've got M, so let's keep going on the M's. We've got 1, 2, 3, and we stop when we come to the C. So that is 4,000. So we can write down a 4 over here with a comma. So that is 4,000. Next, we've got C and another C. That represents 200. 
we stop at the before the L. So now we can put down two over here. Then what do we have? We've got L. We carry on with the two X's. They represent 70. So we can write down 7. And lastly, we've got is the 1. So this Roman numeral is 4,271. Just going to scroll down a bit. So you see, even with very long Roman numerals, once you learn how to break them down, you can work out what number they represent. Let's try one more. Okay, there we go. This looks like an even longer number, doesn't it? Okay, so let's work through this. We begin with a V with a dash. Now don't forget that is 5,000. But we've also got M's, 1, 2, 3. So we've got 5,000 and 3 1,000s. So 5, 6, 7, 8,000. So the V dash, M, 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 represents 8,000. So we can write down 8. Next we've got C, C, C. That represents 300. So now we can write down 3. Then we've got X and L. What is that? That is 10 before 50. L is 50. So that is 40. 10 before 50 is 40. And lastly we've got I, X. What is I, X? That is 1 before 10. That number is 9. So this Roman numeral is 8,349. So once you learn how to break the Roman numerals down, you'll be able to work out what number they represent.